Well, great. Well, let's go ahead and and um, and get started. And um, we'll be sharing, Marie. I think we shared as well. Um, I know we had a couple of people that that really wanted to attend and then couldn't make it. I think a lesson too is like leadership is really busy. So we have been asked to um, to capture the recording and share kind of a write up and make sure it goes out to a bunch of the people that did want to see it. Um, so we'll be thinking too of how to get um, the the content that we discussed today out to a, a bit of a wider audience. But we did want to create a pretty safe space for just understanding the case study. Um, as an example and, and going through it um, in a smaller in a smaller group. So I would definitely say given that we, we have a smaller group, feel free to um, chime in, ask questions along the way. Um, we do hope that this can be a bit more of a conversation. And, um, and maybe we can actually just do a quick round of intros um, just to understand who's kind of in uh, the room. I know um, John you John and Whitney, you dropped your um, your intros in the chat and um, and yeah, we, we have a couple new folks as well. So um, if you wanted to say hi quickly, um, that would be great. We'd love to meet you. And um, and then we'll go ahead and, and get started. And I know we have a lot of ground to cover today with, with Maria's, um, the great work that she's been doing over in, in Orange County. So maybe I can kick it off. Um, I'm Marielle. Uh, I know uh, a couple of you and um, I'm a former uh, uh, public servant with the city and county of San Francisco. And um, I became obsessed with procurement while I was working in local government um, and got to see the kind of uh, the, the impact um, that a purchasing decision had and the value um, to our entire community um, of making a, a good purchasing decision quickly, um, both in terms of the quality of service that is delivered um, and that you know, we in government are able to, to share um, with our residents, but also in terms of engaging a wider set of businesses um, from our community as well. So that was the origin for wanting to start Co-Procure and help connect uh, governments across the country. Um, and just really excited um, to be here today sharing um, some of the work with Maria um, that Co-Procure and, and the Orange County Procurement Alliance um, have, been, have been doing together. Um, so that's me. And uh, Maria, do you wanna introduce yourself? Um, and then we, we can hear briefly from, from the others in the room too. Sure, my name is Maria Grusa, formerly Maria Perona. Um, I am the County Procurement Officer for the County of Orange, California. I've been in this role for about 18 months. Um, I've been with the county for 16 years um, at various departments, waste and recycling, um, public works, and um, so conveniently healthcare agency during this pandemic. So um, I'm glad to be in this role. It's kind of where I started in the county. So really excited to be here. Awesome, thanks. And um, Whitney, John, you want to share a little bit about um, <laughs> beyond your your summer conferences and your move, um, uh, kind of where you're coming from, and um, and maybe a little bit about some of the the challenges that are on your mind when it comes to cooperative procurement strategy. Sorry to put you on the spot. And then Kelly, it'd be great uh, to meet you. And is it? I think it's Shada, um, but sorry if I'm mispronouncing that as well. Yeah, um, I'm Whitney Mugford Smith. I work for the city of Wheat Ridge. I'm the procurement manager there. I've been there since September of last year, so I'm still relatively new to my role. Um, I'm actually in the middle of a, of a recruitment, as I wrote in the, the chat. So um, things are a little bit nuts. That's one of the, uh, the things I'm looking for, I guess, when it comes to my cooperative strategy, because I am going to be looking for a lot of help um, going forward, at least in the interim. So that's one of the things I'll be looking for. And then um, I guess one of the other things I'm looking at is just supply chain issues because we are really feeling it right now. Um, that's uh, on every angle, we're just, we're hearing it from everyone. Um, it doesn't matter which department I'm hearing it from, but I'm hearing it from every single one, um, whether it's gas prices or, I'm not getting my vehicles that I ordered six months ago or 18 months ago or you know whatever it is. So those are the those are the biggies. Go ahead, John. Hey, uh, I'm John Tigert. I'm currently the contracting agent for construction services for the city of Virginia Beach, Virginia. Um, prior to that, I was the purchasing manager for Dorchester County, South Carolina, and then St. Louis County, Missouri. Before that, um, I think. Um, some challenges that uh, I'm experiencing in, as regards to cooperative procurement right now. Um, in Virginia, um, one of the biggest challenges is um, the state of Virginia or Commonwealth of Virginia does not allow 
cooperative procurement for construction services. Um, and then that's basically the bulk of what I do and, and what I procure. And so um, that's kind of a challenge that, you know, I don't know how to overcome beyond getting the state legislature to, to change the law. Um, but, um, you know, certainly there, there's work to be done um, as far as creating a better, you know, stronger region and, and more cooperative opportunities throughout the region of, you know, the Chesapeake Bay area here in Virginia. Um, there's definitely a lot of ways we could work better together. Um, so looking forward to hearing um, what Maria has to say. Well, and I know you're both really involved too in, in uh, the NIDP chapters um, and, and procurement associations. And we've had some conversations too around how does this model, how does regional collaboration happen um, both in sort of a county led or city led or maybe even state led model um, against um, how it might happen um, you know, in a, in a sort of chapter led model too. So excited for your perspective here as well. Um, Kelly, I think, uh, I don't, I don't think we've met before. It'd be great to hear a little bit more about you and, and, um, and, and to meet. I met you a while ago. You did a capo presentation for our San Diego chapter. So it's been a while, but, um, it's nice to see you and Becca again. Um, so that's why I'm joining. I learned so much from you guys. So I am Kelly Rosas. I'm the purchasing supervisor for this um, San Diego Community College District. I've been in this role for about two weeks. And um, prior to that, I was a buyer in our office for about, um, oh gosh, it seems like forever. So um, we'll say 10 years. And so we are the second largest district in the state of California for education and community colleges and support about 100,000 students. And we are, our office is comprised now of myself and two other buyers. So looking just to streamline where we can, we've been using your site um, heavily for contracts and things just to help us get going. And um, we too have some federal aid money still remaining that needs to be spent by the end of next year. Um, but again, facing supply chain issues and just want to hear, you know, what everyone else is doing, some good ideas just to get us going as we are a very limited staff with a lot of money to start spending. Awesome. Well, yeah, sorry, sorry about that. And good to see you again. No, it's been a while. No Thanks problem. Thanks for joining us. Um, great. And then uh, is it Shada, if you want to say hello? Oh. Uh, sorry, I was just, hey, good afternoon. This is Shaida. I'm joining uh, the team from George Washington University. I'm a senior buyer. Actually, I am new to this field. So I hope I learn a lot from you guys. And I just moved to United States from another country. So that's it. Perfect. Um, well, well, welcome. Thank you. Great, um, cool, and it's 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 awesome to have a mix of um, of entities, counties, cities, um, uh, higher ed um, represented uh, as well. So that's that's a super interesting perspective. Um, great. Well, um, I I think now that we've done um, intros, we can skip right into the good stuff, which is mostly hearing Maria share all about um, the the work that that she and her amazing team have been doing. Um, I I think uh, maybe before we get started. Um, would just love to see really quickly, like, I, I guess, would you consider that your agency or your entity today has a cooperative procurement strategy? Um, yes or no? You can kind of say it in the poll or just say it out loud because we're such a small group. That's a no from, from Wheat Ridge. <laughs> yeah. I can tell you that, unfortunately. I love the kind of response. <laughs> <laughs> I kind of do. We're moving for, I mean, it's, I guess it's a case by case evaluation, right? On what um, it is. And, you know, we always get the last minute. Well, I need it tomorrow. So then of course, we're going to look and see if there's a co-op for us. If not, uh, then we'll look for the, look for a bid or look to do a bid. Cool. Yeah. A lot of no's and kinds of, kind of, uh, which, which makes sense. Um, well, great. Well, um, well, I think Maria, um, you know, we're going to hear a bit about how you've um, really driven and 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 moved forward the whole, um, not just the county strategy, but but the entire region. Um, and before we we hear about that, I think it'd be helpful to just set a little bit of context about um, Orange County and and your work there. So we know it's a really big county, um, and it would be great to hear about again a little bit more context and about your kind of journey and your experience at the county 
um, so far before we before we dive into the details of all the changes that you've been working on. Oh, I think you're muted. There we go. There we go. Um, sorry about that. Okay, so yeah, like I said, I've been, um, I started my career 16 years ago here at the central office, um, moved through various departments, um, and now I'm back as the county procurement officer. Prior to the county, I was doing federal contracts um, with Raytheon for about seven years, traveling abroad and across the U.S. Um, negotiating the federal government contracts. So I've been in contracts for a long time, almost 20 something years. I hate saying that. <laughs> but, <laughs> but yes, um, it's been my whole life. Um, so I work for the County of Orange, sixth largest um, county in the U.S., over $7 billion budget. We have 22 agencies, over 18,000 employees, and we have close to 250 deputy procurement officers um, decentralized across those 22 agencies. So it's a huge, um, it's a huge job I have here essentially um, to oversee all of that. Um, I kind of took this role over um, following a little bit of lack of experience procurement leadership. There was a, a more um, politically driven individual here. And so the, the county kind of had been missing a lot of procurement specific um, technical capabilities and standardization and you know efficiencies, effectiveness. We were kind of behind the times. So upon taking the role, we made our mission to become the best and most centralized, decentralized procurement organization in the nation. So we're well on our way. Um, we uh, we're really focusing, like I said, on collaboration, standardization, um, maximizing our utilization of technology, being efficient, effective. And we refer to our huge cultural shift, with, which NIGP has really partnered with us on as trailblazing in procurement. Or when we're talking to individuals, it's becoming a procurement trailblazer. So that's kind of, um, in a nutshell, where I'm at today. Yeah. No, that's super helpful context. And oh my gosh, 250 deputy procurement officers. I wanted to use the like head exploding yeah. uh, emoji because that's just like a mind bogglingly huge um, number of, of, of folks. So it's, I think it's really helpful context and, um, and you sold to kind of hear a bit more about the, um, the, the, it, you know, situation at the county um, as you were kind of coming in now, now, as you were kind of coming in and, and thinking about, um, you know, what it means to kind of do this cultural shift, um, your aspirations for the county. Um, how did collaboration fit into um, that that vision, and and how has um, the county been collaborating with other um, you know agencies or even within the county um, over time? How has that been shifting? Well, as I said, the um, recent pandemic, I was at the healthcare agency. I was in charge of all the PPE for the entire county, you know, including cities, special districts. Um, we kind of have a, a, a centralized emergency center run by the county, and that's where I was at. Um, that just kind of the only way to survive that whole pandemic and, and, and other recent emergencies we've had here was through collaboration. Mm -hmm. So um, taking on this position, I realized that that was my number one priority is to ensure collaboration. We, we were unable to collaborate amongst our 22 departments, let alone across the entire county. So it was a huge struggle. There was a lot of lessons learned. Um, and the county has been increasing utilization of co-ops very slowly over the course of my career. Um, there's been a lot of reasons for the slow growth. Um, lack of legal approvals, depending on your assigned council, right? Some councils, absolutely not. Some councils, yes, if you put this word or this language in your contracts or whatever. Um, there was lack of executive and board understanding of our ability to use these as government entities, and also the lack of approval, like someone mentioned earlier, based on state and federal funding, right? Mm -hmm. So um, upon taking this position, one of my first challenges was to try to create buy-in at all levels for cooperative contracts, um, mm -hmm. educating everyone that, yes, it's okay, it's legal, they are competitively bid, they meet these requirements. So we just kind of had to go on an educational roadshow to, mm -hmm. to get by in all levels. Um, one, one thing we really thought was useful is we defined cooperatives as co-ops and collaboratives. Mm -hmm. So co-ops we refer to in 
you know, in our community as the large national co-ops, right? And then we refer to collaboratives as utilizing, um, collaborating locally, whether that's within our county departments or most recently with our local cities and neighboring counties. So collaborate, collaborative contracts and co-op contracts. That really helps everyone kind of keep that straight. Yeah, the lingo gets really tough here. I don't know um, if, if others in the room have had a challenge here, but it's something we've heard a lot at Coprocure because when we talk about, hey, one place, you know, Coprocure is one place to find cooperative contracts. Folks oftentimes default to thinking that is from the large national cooperatives only, um, which of course overlooks all this really awesome um, work that's been done at the county level from cities, community colleges, universities in the area, um, and, and all those other units of local government that also create contracts that can be shared. Um, so, so yeah, I, I know it's something we've been talking about internally around like, should we do, does, does cooperative procurement need sort of a rebrand? Like, what does it look like to have collaborative procurement and to make sure that folks think about um, uh, utilizing national purchasing cooperatives as well as um, local agencies. So I love that you took the time to sort of go go on the roadshow and um, and help folks understand. Um, no, it's not just your big national purchasing cooperatives, but also um, your uh, you know piggybackable contracts from the state, from other local governments um, in in the area and beyond. Um, I'm wondering if anyone from the audience has anything to contribute there in terms of lingo or confusion. Um, I know this is maybe even a topic that's come up in a few different places as well. All right. Well, then moving ahead, I know, um, Maria, it sounds like you were you were sort of getting organized internally and took a lot of initiative to do that. Um, I think we wanted to quickly pause and pull the audience and just think, I, I know many of you mentioned that you haven't yet set up a, a cooperative um, or collaborative uh, procurement strategy. Um, but in pausing and thinking about your entity's goals, um, we're curious to hear what the most top of mind priorities um, are when it comes to collaboration on procurement. Um, and so if you can check a few of these and then we'll talk about them. And in particular, I know Maria, we're curious to hear more about how you thought about these different priorities and the models um, that, that you look to um, as you made some changes within the county and the region. I have so much power as the controller of the polls. We'll give it another 30 seconds. Let, let's drop some things in. I still see some answers trickling in. But definitely some clear winners here. OK. Last five seconds. I'm going to end it. All right, let's share. OK, um, great. So pretty clear results around saving team time saving money, um, being able to innovate faster, which I always think is interesting, like the faster we're able to leverage the learnings that we have across uh, the community, the, the faster we're able to kind of, you know, like move the whole sector and, and the delivery of services ahead. And then um, love supporting local governments in the region as well. Um, so yeah, Maria, um, I think shifting back um, you know, to your experience in the county, you've kind of teed up this moment where you're coming in, um, and, um, and it sounds like you had a lot of aspirations for, um, you know, your, your, your role and the shape, like the future of, of procurement, um, not just for the county, but for the region. Can you share a little bit more about, like, how did you get started? What, what were some of the, um, like, examples that you had in mind? Um, what was your vision and, and how did you kind of get there? And then what did you do to, to start to make that vision come to life? Well, um, as I said, right. Coming, at, coming into this position, I came out of the emergency. So I knew right away I had to get a whole list of um, contracts where we're kind of just totally changing um, the way we think about this. We don't wait for a request to come in on, in some occasions, right? In some occasions we have to be prepared and we learned that from the emergency. So I came into this position and started diving into um, cooperatives so we could get established cooperatives that are in place um, possibly without utilization until an emergency hits, but we'll be ready, right? So dove into cooperative world, um, started um, looking at, and looking at the cooperatives, I started seeing a lot of regional models. There was a KCRPC, and you probably know what that stands for. <laughs> um, I always forget, Muriel. 
Yeah, yeah, the, the Kansas City Regional Purchasing uh, Cooperative. Yeah, there was um, that, and there was a few others that were extremely successful. What they did was they collaborated, collaborated, collaborated regionally in addition to national cooperatives. So um, in, in setting my goals for the year, I, I um, you know, set short-term goals, long-term goals, and the Board of Supervisors asked me to go brief them in my first couple months on my goals. Um, again, creating a regional was one of my longer-term goals. I had a lot of short-term goals I had to tackle first on standardization and, and training and changing the culture. But um, the board really liked this long-term goal of a regional cooperative. So upon briefing um, them, they immediately got me started on that. They, they wanted me to brief all of their mayors for, the, for their 34 cities in each of their areas. Um, and we did, and I got all the buy-in at the top, which is amazing because that will kind of, you know, propel you forward very quickly when you have that that um, support from the top. Their buyers were calling me, when's the collaborative going to be initiatives? So I was ex really excited, but I had a huge problem. I had no platform to um, kind of kick off this collaborative. And within the same few weeks, I went to Capo in Pasadena, and it was like my mission of that conference to find a solution for our alliance. I attended every session, talked to every vendor, and I found Cobra Cure. They were um, the perfect solution. They were just as excited and passionate about um, what I was trying to do with the culture shift and the platform. So at the conference, we immediately sat down in the middle of the conference and began strategizing on a partnership that would allow the county to leverage co-procure search engines to support cross-county collaboration. So um, I have to tell you that from kickoff to our soft launch was, I think, five business days co-procure. Um, they, they were embedded on our website and just five business days just in time for our um, OC Procurement Alliance kickoff. Um, so super exciting. We were super grateful to have partnered and our kickoff was a huge success. 34 cities came together in March and um, we've been collaborating ever since. Um, I, I kind of wanted some of the, some of my initial main goals was when I was looking into these alliances, the, the industry standard said there was a savings of between five and 15%. So if the county is has a contract spend of over 2 billion, which is very um, low ball, um, and we save just 1%, we'd have $20 million savings. So we are all very excited about that. But um, besides the, the soft cost savings, hard savings, um, we're really excited to be able to have our first ever um, contract database where we can all share contracts, not just across our 22 departments, which we've never had before, but across all of our cities as well. We have access to each other's um, contracts, allowing it, I mean, it's it's useful not only for utilization, but just for, um, you know, scope of work research and, and, and see what everyone else is doing without having to pick up the phone and call. It's just so much information at our fingertips. We're really excited about it. And then we had some other um, really great benefits, like uh, we just realized the other day that a PRA came in and we can just give them the link and let them search it themselves instead of all the staff hours of sending those public records acts requests um, or FOIA requests I'm referred to. Um, so that there's there's just been so many benefits. Um, one of the huge things that we like to showcase when we compare collaboratives to co-ops, co-ops national, um, is our board's focus on supporting our local government. So by, by collaborating locally, we're, we're also able to um, ensure we're focusing on our local small and disadvantaged businesses, which is a huge focus in our county. So I yeah. think I covered everything. Oh man, well, there's so much in there. And um, I definitely wanna give folks a chance to also ask questions. Cause I know when we first started talking about this we had all these questions for you, Maria, oh. about like, oh man, there's a lot you wanna do here. Like, tell us more about this. How's it gonna work? Um, and I think it's really aligned too with like Cobra Cures mission and vision around like, hey, we're all doing this work um, at various public entities across the country all the time. And we're learning so much. And then it goes and it sits in a physical or a, 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 a literal filing cabinet. And, um, and wouldn't it be nice if we actually just had a better way to share all of that work we're doing, both so that we could see, as you mentioned, like, hey, Orange County already has a contract for this. I'm going to hop on to theirs. Um, and the next time they go out to bid, you know, maybe they can list me <laughs> on the, the contract and, and leverage my buying power too. Um, but also, um, uh, of course, um, you know, being able to, as you mentioned, like leverage uh, local vendors and support um, vendors in the region as well. So I, I really want to dig into a few of these 
um, in, in more detail. Um, but before we do that, I wonder, um, I wonder too, and, and before we look at the impact, I wonder too, if we, we should maybe just show folks um, a little bit more what this looks like. I know it sounds like most people are familiar with what Coprocure um, looks like and has used it before, but maybe we can actually just take a look at what does this look like for the Orange County Procurement um, Alliance. So I think Becca is just bringing up that page. And Maria, if you want to just walk us through um, what this looks like and we can want, run a search or two, Becca, feel free to chime in um, as well or, or narrate as you're, as you're going along. So here's our kickoff. These are our cities, our Orange County city. This is, this is Orange County procurement, 22 departments and 34 cities. Mm -hmm. All came together for this kickoff um, where we were able to showcase the solution. And you're, you're better at walking through this technical part. Yeah, so um, hey everyone, I'm Becca with Cobra Care in case we haven't met. I think I've met everybody but Barry though. Um, uh, so um, the search bar here is, you know, works pretty much the same as the search bar that you'll see when you come to coprocure.us. Um, the big difference here is that we've created some sort of custom filtering that's available for the Procurement Alliance based on the goals that some of the goals that Maria has already shared. So one of the things that's really helpful for um, the agencies in Orange County um, is to be able to search for just contracts that have been led by California agencies. So this filter option is listed in here. Um, if they uncheck both of these, they would only be searching for contracts from Orange County. So it also is really helpful, I think, for Orange County departments to be able to just search for contracts that are coming from their agency, right, Maria? Um, so if I go ahead and just, so our default search is to search Cobra entire search engine. Um, and I'm gonna go ahead and just do a basic one here. Janitorial, I always have to sound this out in my head because spelling in front of people now makes me nervous. I do it and you'd think I'd be better at it. I do it all the time now. Um, and then we put in this, as you saw, we just put in a nice little drop down bar here with all of the agencies that are within the Procurement Alliance to just make it easy for folks to select um, which agency they're coming from. When we hit search, uh, what it's going to do is just take us to the search page that you all probably know and recognize. The big difference here um, is that we put a little uh, banner at the top that says that this search is now powered by the Procurement Alliance. Um, and as you can see here, we've done a search for janitorial services across Cobracure's entire database. The Orange County contract for janitorial services pops up first. Um, but we can also look at that alongside all of the other ones that we know about. So we've got some from Sourcewell, ENI, Omnia. Uh, there's another Omnia one here that's been led by Fresno Unified School District. So that's helpful, I think, in terms of comparing um, contracts that have been led by various California agencies. Um, and so from here, you know, the search works the exact same way. You click view documents. Um, or view contract and you're able to look at all the additional information um, about what's covered in this contract. Uh, so that performs the same as you know you all probably know and love about Coprocure hopefully um, and you can kind of continue to do your search from here. Oh well, oh man, I misspelled services, but it still knew what I was trying to do. So uh, that's how we run um, the basic search and that's kind of the, the general flow. So pretty similar to what we've already what you already are able to do on Cobra Care, but really the goal here um, is trying to take the technology that we've built um, and make it even more accessible to more purchasing teams across the country by putting it in places where people are already going. You know, we know that adding another website to the list of mental list of all the places that you have to remember to go and check is difficult. Um, so we figured if we could just give Maria um, or really anybody else our search bar, would that be helpful? And it turns out that it is a bit helpful. <laughs> um, any other things you want me to search for before we before I stop sharing? I, th I think that's a good overview. Um, and we've had fun playing around with it. I think um, it's been so awesome for Orange County um, and Maria's team to, to work to publish all of those contracts. I know that was um, not a small task, uh, you know, it, uh, to get the, um, that content organized. Um, although your team also was super, um, super fast, uh, Maria, I think in getting all of that work, um, set up and, um, and it's been so helpful. I know, uh, not just for, um, for the various buyers across the County, but also for, uh, the members of the procurement Alliance and even for members outside, um, of Orange County, which I think we've been really excited to observe um on our side um as well so um yeah maria if you if if i think now is a great time to actually um uh shift and and talk a little bit about 
a little bit more about um, the impact. Like I know we've collected some some data as well, but but walk us through. I know um, you know we launched in 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 the spring um, just a, um, a couple months ago, um, and and what's the kind of early impact um, been? And and I know we have some stats we can share um, on the Kerberger side as well. Yeah, one thing that just came to mind when we were talking was um, it was it's not only the procurement community who's excited about this. I mean, my executives love to go and see what's out there when they get an idea like, oh, maybe we can get a consultant for, you know, so-and-so or, or the end users at the parks, you know, they want to see, okay, you know, what's out there? What are other people doing for tree trimming at the parks or, you know, so, so on and so forth. They're just as excited as our procurement community just for that information readily available similar information to what they're looking for. So that's been huge. We That wasn't one of the initial goals of it. So all of these extra um, rewards have come through. Um, I know you have the, the stats on how many users we've had and all of that. Um, we, we are, for the first time ever, going to be able to track um, our um, our local vendor community because we, we had no um, ability to measure how many uh, how many local vendors there are out there in any given with within any given contract, you know, um, sorry, description, local vendors, minority owned, and all of those mm -hmm. good things. So that that is going to be really great. We haven't really um dove into that yet, but just having that the access to that data has been great to report to our board. Um, like I said, we've never had any um, ability to share contracts within the county. So We've had, you know, to run reports centrally to see, okay, everyone's duplicating contracts, you know, and they have no visibility amongst each other to, to collaborate. So that's been an amazing reward of this as well. Um, yeah, I, like I said, we had our Public Records Act. That, that was a, 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 a huge thing that we hadn't even considered that would come out of this. So like, like I said, just utilizing it and growing it, meeting with CoperCure and partnering with them and and growing our program even further has been great. Yeah, I, I know we have some some uh, stats here. Um, I, I think one of the things that that we really wanted to support, um, and I know as a priority for you, is like improving the experience, both again for those Orange County um, departments that you mentioned, since it is, um, uh, you know, there are so many, um, um, uh, you know, uh, procurement um, professionals, but they're spread across those different departments within the county. And then also for the agencies, um, uh, that look to Orange County, um, to leverage, uh, county contracts. Um, and so we, we've certainly tracked, you know, since the embed, um, has launched, we've seen over 250, um, unique searches that have happened through the embed. Um, and we track also like power searches, um, uh, and the departments that those folks come from. And I know there are over seven, um, departments, um, so far. Uh, at the county that are power users, um, meaning they're in there, um, you know, a couple times a week, as well as um, six uh, alliance members outside of the county that really have come to depend on uh, searching um, on that procurement alliance page. And again, this hasn't been around um, that long, so I know we still have more kind of education and training of folks um, in the program to do. But we're really excited about those early stats. And um, and I think an, another um, thing that was pretty neat to see is. Um, again, of the um, of the searches that have take, taken place, um, we, we we're also able to track uh, the visibility of those Orange County contracts um, within the county, but also outside of it. So um, you know we've been able to to see that um, more than 150 um, page views of Orange County contracts have occurred, and actually more than 80 of those page views have been from outside. Of Orange County, including um, uh, from agencies that are not in the Procurement Alliance, but are nearby and actually even across the country. So um, the contracts that that the county has created and been able to share through CoProcure are benefiting not only the county, not only the region, but actually in some cases, um, folks outside of it as well. And um, and I know a couple of bright spots as we we're looking on um, CoProcure does allow. Um, users that are searching, uh, you know, once you find a contract, you can go into the documents. You can also reach out and contact the supplier um, through the um, through the the product. And we've actually seen we just pulled some of the data, and we've seen two of these contact requests that are quotes or like requests to do business with suppliers come through off of Orange County contracts that I wanted to call out. Um, the first was around um, a 
um, a request uh, that came in um, on a contract for paper recycling and destruction services from Orange County um, with a supplier called Shadowhawk, which actually is a local business um, in the county with 27 employees based in, in OC. And, um, and that was, again, just a cool example of like, yes, it's not just the national co-op contracts with the national, the big national suppliers, um, but actually like these, the business and the contracts can um, be, be leveraged to support local business entities as well. So that's a story that we're excited to kind of continue tracking and, um, and to, to help educate and onboard the vendors in the area that really can be using these really valuable contracts that I know the county has put a lot of time into creating to leverage and, and grow their, their government business. And then the second was actually a buyer from Virginia. Um, so I, I, I know we have a couple of folks um, from, from the East Coast joining us today. A buyer from G Virginia was looking for um, you know, temporary HR um, uh, uh, support and found a, um, a certified minority owned business on an OC contract um, for those, those services. So again, that, that's just cool as we look at um, uh, folks in the public procurement space that are looking to work with local businesses or looking to work with designated, uh, you know, uh, diverse businesses that like oftentimes those businesses are available on these locally created contracts and getting those contracts out there and published and available um, for our own users, but also for the wider community can be incredibly helpful um, to that to that broader network. Definitely. And I, I just want to share again that these stats are just 60 days. I think we've we um maybe close to 70 days. So I, I just think it's not like it's phenomenal progress. Yeah, no, it's it's awesome to see the vision coming to life, and we're very um we're very excited to be a part of it. And um and yeah, I mean, I think at a high level, I know um you know Maria, we see the example that that you you're building in Orange County as a model of what does it look like to be like a hyper collaborative region. Um, what does it look like to not have um you know to only depend on say like the federal GSA contracts or the big national co-ops, but to actually augment those options with contracts. Um, that are coming from local agencies with those local vendors, with diverse vendors as well. Um, and again, we, we see um, different procurement professionals work so hard to create those contracts, and we know we can be working together, um, you know, so much more efficiently. And, and Co-Procure is just really excited uh, to, be, to be partnering and to be building that infrastructure for collaboration um, and, and to help, again, work towards this, this big audacious vision um, that, that you've laid out. So, um, yeah, you know, we're, I think we're excited to, to follow on and support um, the work of the OC Procurement Alliance. Like you said, we're, we're just getting started. There's a lot more to do there, but really encouraged by early progress and um, certainly hope that uh, the work that you're doing can, um, can be a model for other uh, regions as well. Um, again, to, to, to publish their data, um, to share, to leverage the work of other um, entities that, that have made the investments. Um, and so we're, we're really excited to partner um, not only with the, the, the Orange County Procurement Alliance, but to start partnering um, with a few other regions across the country as well. So if anyone is interested in exploring that in more detail, we're, we're definitely excited um, to, to chat. And again, I think we're, we're, we can't wait for this, like hu these hubs of super collaborative regions um, to kind of emerge across the country. Um, we, we think that's a really exciting vision. Awesome. Well, Maria, any um, any final words before we kind of open it up more generally to questions or comments from from folks that are tuning in? No, I just want to encourage everyone to share. The more we share, the more data we all have accessible to to each other. So, just want to promote that. Awesome. Perfect. Um, well, I, I know we have a few minutes left. Um, any questions, comments um, before we let everyone get back to their short their short week? All right. Well, thank you, Co-Procure. Thanks, everyone. Cool. Thank yeah. you. Really appreciate the, the time, Maria, and, um, and thanks, everyone, who joined us. And we'll be sharing, again, um, some written materials to recap the conversation, as well as a recording of this um, conversation for those, those that missed it. So thanks, everyone, and thank good you. luck with your, with your weeks. Cool. Thank you.